Hello, we are DAM Robotics from Oregon State University, and we are proud to demonstrate that our rover is ready for the 2025 University Rover Challenge. This year, the team focused on updating the previous rover model and designing specific mechanisms for the University Rover Challenge. We are continuing to reuse our drivetrain, chassis, and suspension system designed in 2017 with minor tweaks and improvements. The triple rocker bogey suspension has proven to be extremely effective at going over obstacles and rough terrain while keeping a low center of mass to prevent tipping. This year, minor improvements are being made to our communications tower mounting and camera systems, while electrically toggleable front suspension locks are being implemented to further improve stability. Additionally, the aging brushed motors and motor drivers are being replaced with custom brushless gear motors to reduce mass while improving drive performance. Locked rotor testing and thermal characterization have been done to ensure that motors will meet the required specifications. Electrical integration and testing is currently underway, with each wheel gear motor being driven by an O-Drive S1 motor controller connected to our Jetson NX over CAN bus. Utilizing ROS2 Humble as our core communications framework allows for seamless compartmentalization and extended control over quality of service and robustness against failure. Moving our central computer over to a Jetson Orin NX, we can better utilize all of our rover's camera streams via high frame rate hardware encoded H.265 RTP streams. To facilitate communication, we use our Rocket M2 receiver attached to an antenna to communicate with a large transmitter over 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Tested in the cluttered and contested airspace of our campus, we achieved smooth communications and control up to 500 meters. We have set up functionality that allows the rover to search for an Aruku tag and drive towards it. While driving, it finds the position of the tag in the camera frame and turns to ensure it stays in the center. It stops when the tag gets close enough to the camera. We also plan to set up similar functionality for driving to an orange mallet and a water bottle. We're currently working on training YOLO V8 models to detect these in the camera feed. For autonomous navigation, we've created a desktop application for managing destinations and charting paths to those destinations. The operator can select a destination and press start to command the rover to begin autonomous navigation. Waypoints to a given destination can be set, allowing the operator to choose a path to the location. We are currently working on improving positional estimation using a common filter, incorporating GPS, accelerometer, gyroscope, and motor encoder data. We also plan to implement object detection and avoidance using a depth camera. Our rover is equipped with a 6 degree of freedom arm we built from the ground up last year. The arm has a reach of 1 meter and can lift up to 10 kilograms. Each joint is driven by a brushless DC motor coupled with a harmonic gearbox to provide high torque and low backlash. It's split up into three sections, the shoulder, elbow, and wrist, with two degrees of freedom at each section. Each motor is controlled by an O-Drive S1 motor controller, with the onboard absolute encoder providing commutation accurate feedback. A laser and depth camera attached to the gripper help the operator position the end effector and view objects in 3D space. The arm can be controlled in two different modes, joint by joint inverse kinematics. This allows the operator to perform dexterous manipulations of objects. Control of the arm is achieved through the Move It 2 package. This package provides the framework for inverse kinematic, collision detection, and obstacle mapping. Operators use an Xbox controller to command the joints or gripper to move. Practice controlling the arm has been achieved through mock-up boards and simulations to familiarize the operator with the controls. The gripper showcased in this animation is the new gripper that is in development. This gripper design is an intersection between soft robotics and the classic two-finger design as the gripping surface is made up of silicone bands that can conform around non-uniform objects while maintaining a high coefficient of friction. The internal design is controlled by two worm gears, which decreases the chances of the gears meshing. These worm gears are controlled by a dual output gearbox that connects to a planetary and a drone motor. This is our science mechanism. It is a new and improved version of a proven design we used last year when we won CIRC. This uses an auger and a sample container system attached to a linear actuator at the front of the rover. This updated version spring loads the sample container tier in order to avoid collection of topsoil. One part of the sample container will be lined with parafilm and preloaded with ethanol and Benedict's reagent to detect carbohydrates, and another will be preloaded with ethanol and anhydrin in order to detect amino acids. These will color co cause a color change in the soil that will be detected with a camera. If both are positive, there is strong evidence for the presence of life. The sample containers are closed by a camera shutter style seal in order to close the sample containers around the auger. The dirt spike houses a temperature sensor and a moisture sensor, which is further attached to a linear actuator. Our team has been working hard this year in preparation for URC 2025 and is excited to see what competition has in store. Thank you.
Oh, tá o Draco. 